Hello. As a jam student, if you come across a question like this that you need to solve under 60 seconds, how best can you do it under differentiation? Remember when we have a question like this, the rule is chain rule because we have a function that is raised to a particular power. So we use chain rule. That means in your regular way of solving it, you say let the function inside be u, then y is equal to u raised to power 3. As a jam student, there is a quick way to it. Let's go by that. So we need to find the y dx. The y dx is equal to, take note of this function, only this first term has x, this one does not have x. So how best can we go about it? We do it this way. The power here, we use it to multiply this power of x, then use it to multiply the coefficient of x. So it becomes 3 multiplied by 2, that's 6, multiplied by 4, and that is 24. You have 24, because you have worked on this x with this power now, the power is going to be reduced by 1. When the power of 2 reduced by 1, it becomes 1. So x raised to the power of 1, we put it down. That's noted. Then we then introduce something. However, before we do that, don't forget to click on the like button and as well subscribe to this channel for more interesting mathematics concepts like this. Alright. So for this, we then bring in the same function again, 4x squared minus 3. Now, instead of power 3 here, the power is going to be reduced by 1. That will be power 2. And this is the solution to this question. What if the power is negative? That's the question you want to ask. The same way, that will be minus 3 being the power minus 1. So it's going to give you minus 4 and not minus 2 if the power is negative 3. So I trust you gain something. Jam students, ready to blast it. So as a jam student, you come across this question to be attempted under 60 seconds. How do we go about it? Just like we've learned earlier, to do this, the quick way to eat the y, the x, equals this power, first bring it down here, 4, then open bracket, work on this, 2 multiplied by 3, that's 6. This is x raised to the power of 2. So subtract 1 from the power, that gives you 1. That means x raised to the power of 1. Here, the power of x here is 1. 1 multiplied by 2, that is 2. Okay, plus 2. The power of 1, take 1 from it, that's 0. x raised to the power 0, that is 1. Use that one to multiply 2, it gives you back 2. So when it is power of 1, x will not be there. Close it. Then the next thing, open the bracket, rewrite what is here into that bracket. 3x squared plus 2x. This time, we have power of 4 here. Subtract 1 from it. That is power of 3. And doing this, we've been able to simplify this in jam. So let's now see, look at the options available. You are not seeing it like this. What next you can do is to simplify for that by saying maybe you multiply this. 4 times 6, that's 24x plus 8. You do this, 3x squared plus 2x plus this, 3. And we see either this or this there. That's the best way to do it.